What have you learned and improved on from running AEW since the start? Because obviously this was kind of a new venture for you, even though you're incredibly knowledgeable about wrestling, but actually getting into the business. Where have you personally gone in terms of running this company and learning how to deal with wrestlers and and all the things that go with it? Uh, there's so many things that have changed since the beginning. Our roster is much, much, much stronger than what we started with. It's much, much deeper. And for many reasons, you know, we have three hours of television now as opposed to two hours. And it's really, really a testament to how great the support for AEW Dynamite was out of the gate that we were able to get a second show. And that necessitated a deeper, better roster. I think signing more wrestlers, that's been really strong for me personally. You know, the first few months, I was very involved in organizing the shows and keeping them on time, but we were probably a little bit more collaborative as far as a process. And late 2019, our TV ratings and our shows, they just probably weren't in a place that I was looking to be, and I wanted to make them stronger. And I think going into 2020, around Christmas 2019, I really vowed to myself I was going to take a stronger position and, and do a better job and or, and really organize everything or, or all the creative myself. And we went into 2020, I think, fresher, better, and more organized. And that run of television shows that followed was, at least at that point, the best run we'd ever had. That the aforementioned Road to Revolution 2020, the first revolution, actually. Many people still talk about those as the best shows we've done. And last year, the Road to Revolution, again, people were saying, wow, this this reminds me of the original Build the Revolution and just as strong. And here we are right now. And many people are saying as we approach Revolution 23 that, again, this is maybe the best run of AEW TV. And I think listening to fan feedback is big and also kind of trusting my instincts. And the reason I, I do that is because I think I try to listen to the fans and it's, it's very tough to have 5, 10, 15 people putting in feedback and then trying to listen to all of them, I would rather take all the ideas, organize them, and use the best ones. And I think that's helped us, you know, have organized shows. And I also do think the biggest thing of all has been the quality of the wrestlers and the wrestling. You know, we started with a great roster, and it's only gotten better over the years as we've signed more free agents, big names that have come in and made the show better. 